Pahoa High this evening for an update on the planned evacuation route and emergency housing units. Mayor Harry Kim told Ruri families he hopes to build an entirely new community and to hang in there. I lost everything. Gregory Braun is one of hundreds of property owners assessing the damage. His wife lost a vacation rental and his 40-year-old flower business with five acres of orchids is now gone. Hawaii probably lost half of the state's cut flower orchid production in four days. We just didn't believe it would happen. We were there for so long and we were so established. Dodie Jordan and her husband were forced from their rental in Kapoho Beach lots. Finding a new place to stay won't be easy. It's, it is incredibly emotional. When I've seen this incredible bay and area that we loved and was dear to our hearts just change within hours. Says the fountain at Fisher 8 has lowered a bit to less than 180 feet, but it's still sending a vigorous lava flow to the coastline. Mileka Lincoln has a look on the ocean off Kapoho Point. Aloha, we are here in what is left of Kapoho Bay. We are heading a little further out to sea, and that's so that we can avoid a plume of haze, lava haze, lays, that is starting now to billow up from the coastline as a result of the lava that continues to pour into the ocean here off of Kapoho Beach lots and vacation land. In fact, there is already a lava delta that is approximately seven tenths of a mile long, according to USGS H. HBO officials, you can see that steam that is rising along with that lays a health hazard as a result of hydrochloric acid making contact as lava mixes with that salt ocean water and sends out those fine glass particulates into the air. And that's exactly why we're moving as quickly as we are to get out of this situation. You can also see the ash, just the incredible amount of lava that is being kicked up as it pours into the ocean. That is one of the many hazards of this area. It's one of the reasons why the United States Coast Guard has created a 1,000 foot safety perimeter zone in each of the areas of ocean entry to keep folks safe. Now, of course, as the situation here changes, we will bring you the latest on Hawaii News Now. What we can tell you is that definitively this coastline has changed for many, many years to come. Vai'opai, the Kapoho tide pools now covered with lava and hundreds of homes lost in Kapoho and vacation land, including, of course, also Noni Farms Road, Papaya Farms Road, Leilani Estates and Lenny Puna Gardens. Since that very first fissure opened up on May 3rd on Mohala Street, the impact to the ocean is something that we are going to have have to check in with officials and experts about, but what we've at least seen with our own eyes are dead fish, dead turtles floating to the surface as a result again of lava continuing to pour into the water here. Be sure to stay tuned to Hawaii News Now for the very latest. For now, back to you. A very dedicated Mileka Lincoln, as close as you can possibly get there. Seeing it all on TV is tough. People who've spent time in Kapoho are especially sad to see it go. That includes Honolulu Mayor Kirk Caldwell. You know, what's happened in Kapoho and what is happening in Kapoho is, is really, really tragic. It was a special place. I mean, as a kid, I'd go down there a lot, going into the warm springs, surfing, uh, snorkeling, diving, spearfishing, fishing. And it, you can feel the air there. It, 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 there is something unique about it, very lush, um, very green. And the ocean was abundant with fish. And, you know, a lot of local folks from Hilo, that was where they had their vacation home. Old time families, not expensive place to, to own land, but beautiful. And it seems that Madame Pelly decided she wanted to go exactly right there, filled the entire bay, filled up almost all the land where the homes were. It, it breaks my heart in some ways to, to see this happen because it was such a special place. But it reminds us that at the end of the day, Madam Pelle is the one who owns the land, not all of us. And so we have to move on and look forward, but it is a, it's a sad day for, for this area of the Big Island. A chaotic experience in that moment. We're seeing this river move across this lawn.
the uncertainty. The whole sky was...